what it is. I kind of just hate everything. So we're here going to try to see what we can do. This is, oh, sorry about my thumb. This happened back in January and it's still looking terrible. Aside from that, so this tiny, tiny little wire here. That's what's causing all the issue. We'll see what we can do. Okay, the thing lit up. Um, I'm not too sure if it's either the computer or the actual sensor, because look, it's on. And I was saying, not possible to change. Uh, the computer just says I'm gonna try putting in the stock shifter back in see if the pins still work in there but I doubt it I tried that before still didn't work a little later okay so that didn't work at all so uh, okay so as a last stitch I'm gonna cut the ribbon wire to where the connectors look to be good the only thing with that is that i'm hoping that the wire still stays up after i cut it and it still works after i cut it um, i googled it apparently you uh, you can cut ribbon wire um if the top of the connectors are bad and if you look at the wire i put tape around uh the area that i wanted to cut since just those two tips are bad down here, they they look to be better. Oh, my thumb is terrible. Uh, the owner's actually gonna come and check it out, so I want to for him to be here before I actually cut it because cutting it is the last resort. Connecting the computer, erasing the codes did nothing. I am 100% convinced that it is the two pin connectors that are causing the issue. Um, but when I do connect. The shifter, it does light up, so not all the pins are broken. It is getting a connection, it's just not getting a full connection, and that's what's causing the issue. Meanwhile... So we got a few things done today. We did the reflectors and we did the spoiler. Unfortunately, we can't get the car moving. So Rob came, he basically stayed all day trying to get the plug to work. Um, he tried his computer, you know, tried mine. It's not a code that's causing it. It's 100% that plug um, right there. So I call my boy Lewis, which is this guy. Did you at least bring snacks? I got weed. <laughs> he works for BMW. So he got me the hookup. That piece comes as a whole center console. So they don't even sell the wire. The wire actually goes into the console itself. And then the console gets plugged into, you know, the main unit of the car. So it's not a wire that you can buy as a part. I think I want to turn this into a life lesson. This is something that I'm putting out there because it is a huge problem. It is a huge like F up. But if you, as a professional, you, you learn to deal with mistakes. What defines a true professional is how everything that went wrong, went wrong and it's your job to fix it. And how you fix it defines you as a professional. So. If this was a perfect job and everything went perfectly fine, that's any amateur can do that. What sets you apart from, to, from being professional is what to do when everything goes wrong. 
and right now we got the proper steps in place we got the new part we're trying to figure out how to replace it and then we're gonna get this car back on the road hopefully by this weekend and like you saw since this morning it's all been trial and error between trying different tricks on the ribbon cable and trying two different ECU readers we're trying everything um, so this is kind of like the last step replacing removing and replacing as you always know thank you for watching the vlog we gotta get this car cleaned up before it leaves and then ceramic coat it needs to get ceramic coated then it's out of here thank you for watching